This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. So now that we've prepared our Active Directory environment for a system center configuration and uh, manager installation, it's now time to start getting the site system server ready. And as we're deploying a single standalone primary site here in this example, uh, we need to prepare the computer that we will install those site system components on. And so that's really done through the prerequisites. And we have a few different prerequisites. As we go through the installation routine, at some point it will attempt to check the prerequisites for us. Um, but right now, let's take a look at a couple of elements related to prerequisites. So we know that we need to have, if I go ahead and bring up here Windows Explorer, we need to have the .NET Framework 3.5.1 and also 4.0 as a prerequisite. So we go into the Windows directory on the server that is to become the site system server. If I open up Microsoft.NET and take a look in Framework 64, we can see all the versions of the framework that are currently installed and supported. And we are indeed installed and up to version 4. So that would be one of the key prerequisites. Now another area that I want to look is in Server Manager. So on Windows Server 2008, you have Server Manager, and we can see in here certain roles, and we can see the roles that are currently installed, and we do indeed have a web server role. We need that role. And if we scroll down, uh, we can see the .NET Framework 351 features are enabled, which uh, we could also tell by the Windows Explorer that I just showed you. But then down here under Role Services for the web server. So IIS Role Services. And if I say Add Role Services, I have the ability to check any additional boxes that I feel like I might need to check. The main one I want to make sure we have is ASP.NET. Uh, .NET has to be enabled. Just because we have the .NET Framework installed does not necessarily mean that within IIS, ASP.NET is also installed. So I've done that already. Go ahead and click there. Now there's a couple of other prerequisites we should be aware of, which uh, can be found under Features. And we already have the .NET Framework 351 features installed, so let's go ahead and click Add Features. But this is where we also need to have BITS, the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. So we can go ahead and check that box. And it's fine to go ahead and check the sub boxes as well. There's bits. And we also need to add in here remote differential compression. Computes and transfers differences between two objects over a network using minimal bandwidth. It's a good feature, and Config Manager takes advantage of this Windows feature uh, as it does communication and transfers between site system servers. So let's go ahead and click Next and Install and it'll work on getting these roles, role services, or features. In this case, they're all features. But this is an important part of an installation of Config Manager. Now, if we were installing certain other roles, such as a distribution point where we wanted to enable um, Pixie booting, then we would have to install the WDS, or Windows Deployment Services, role as a prerequisite. If we were going to install a software update point as a site system role, it would require the feature of um, WSUS, the Windows Server Update Services. So we're not doing that at the moment. We're just doing a primary site system. So I want to get all the components ready for my primary site system. So you can see installation succeeded on those two, two prerequisites. Uh, I've also fully patched the machine and gotten it fully up to date with the latest Windows updates. And those should be the majority of the key prerequisites. We have to go through and make sure we get those ready. And now we're in a position where we should be able to go in and, um, 
and run our setup routine. The setup routine will also double check to confirm to see if we are missing any particular prerequisites. Now one last thing to show you here, if I go into uh, Windows Explorer and I take a look at the product DVD, so this is the System Center Configuration Manager product media, and in the SMS setup folder and in the bin, X64, are a couple of things that we should be aware of. One is a prerequisite checker application that we can run to sort of scan a machine to see if, if I were to take a system and add roles to it, are there any prerequisites that I would need to add? Or if I'm about to install a new site system, I could run that checker. Um, and there is also a setup downloader application, setup DL. What that will do is download for you a number of uh, prerequisites. In fact, uh, if I go ahead and open up Windows Explorer, go to here and go to this setup DL folder that I created, here's an example. So if I were to support multiple languages, as I go through the installation of System Center Config Manager, which we will do in just a moment, the actual setup program, it's going to ask me questions about language support and some additional elements. Well, we went ahead and ran the setup downloader ahead of time, so we've gotten the .NET Framework components, MSXML components, uh, Silverlight, SQL, SQL Express edition is here pre-downloaded and ready in case I at any time decide to deploy a secondary site that uses SQL Express. Uh, Windows Update Agent, a number of different elements in here that have been pre-downloaded simply because we ran this setup DL program ahead of time. Now, when we go through the actual installation routine of Config Manager, there will be a point where it asks us whether it wants to go ahead and download all those components. But we've saved ourselves some time, so when we get to that point, we can simply point to the folder where we pre-downloaded them. That can be especially good for site systems that you're trying to build that are not connected to the internet. So the setup program can actually connect to the internet and get these things for you, or you can put them in a folder and point to that folder during installation. So after this now, now that we've done a lot of our prerequisite work, we can begin the installation of our site system. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.